step two, we're going to pull in um, a little bit of yellow now. So I'm going to take my yellow colored pencil and go a new direction. And I don't want to do it very hard. And I'm going to hit my light areas now, the areas that we have nothing. These light areas. See how light it is? You can probably hardly even see it on the video. I'll go a little darker so you can see it on the video. Very light. You should hardly be able to see it. That kind of, think about that, represents the light that's coming in the window or the sunlight or the candlelight or your light source is often a warm color. Things close up are warmer and things in the light areas are warmer. So I'm hoping that you can see. I'll pull this up. Now he kind of looks like he's getting sick, huh? But trust me, this will be okay. Now I'm going to hit a little bit of the medium areas with the light. A little bit of the medium areas with the light. That's a medium area. Got his nose. This is a medium area along the side here. Oh, you know what? I forgot a dark spot right there. And it's not too dark, but I'm going to hit it with orange first. You can always go back and rework things. And a little bit of this blue. A lot of people like a sharp colored pencil. I like a little bit of a duller colored pencil. Also, you notice his nose. We drew this line, but you see this shadow right here on his nose? Because your nose is not really flat. It's got different planes to it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit this a little darker to create his nostrils at the edge. Now I'm going to come in with the darker blue and hit my very only my very darkest areas. So I've got a really dark area here. I know he's going to turn blue again. Trust me, this will work. And I'm going to bring it around along his lip, just a little bit of his lip. See, not all the way across. You're not coloring it in like a coloring book. A little dark area right here, and then it gets lighter. So I'm going to skip and go dark again down here at the bottom of his beard. Stays pretty dark over here along the side of his face. That's the beard, I think, wrapping up around his head. You don't want to make it too linear. You want to kind of blend things. Pencil lines now are okay. See that dark area right here? And then it connects up. And then this is lighter right here. I'm going to leave it. So the beauty of this now is that you can watch this video. I'm going to go back to orange. You can watch this video and work with me step by step. Coming back to orange to build up that brown. Is it turning brown? It's starting to, isn't it? It's not going to happen all at once. I'm going to switch back over to the blue. Now, what I'm going to do for the rest of this is not talk for part three, and I'm just going to finish it. So, And I will finish it so you don't have to watch the whole thing drag on forever. I'll make it fast and speedy, okay? So I'm hitting my darkest areas here. Um, his eyelid, if you look, it's dark here, and then it pops out and gets light and darks around here. You have to think of it as a sphere. And this little pop right here is darker. Working on the eyes and getting the eyes right is really what makes a face work. Now, again, you're going to be practicing this on the Coach Pring Pringle drawing I give you. Okay? Um, and you've practiced a line drawing of Coach Pringle first. So then you're going to be actually drawing on this one. So... Kind of like a coloring book, right? All right, so um, the rest of the video, part three, will be a speed up, sped up version of this. Now, this is how you're going to work on your portrait, on your letter, or whatever your next assignment is. Okay, watch part three when you're ready.